Hello, I'm here with the TV show today to go over the 15 easy step installation process with you. First, what you're going to do is go ahead and open the TV shield. You'll find a couple things in there. First thing is going to be some large styrofoam blocks. You should have two of those. You're going to need those for installation. Don't throw them away. Just go ahead and put them off to the side. You're also going to find two small bags. One bag has grommets. You're going to have eight grommets. You're going to have four small grommets and four large grommets. Make sure you keep those, put them off to the side. You're also going to have a bag with some keys for your key locks. Go ahead and place those off to the side also. And then of course you're going to have your installation instructions. First you'll probably want to go over page one of the instructions. It does go over a lot of good information about your visa mount systems and stuff like that. So go ahead and place those off to the side. What I'm going to do is go ahead and go over all of your tools needed for installation. First thing you're going to want to have is two screwdrivers. Uh, most likely you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and a smaller screwdriver, doesn't really matter Phillips head or flat, just to help you probably get the grommets in at that step. You're also going to need some measuring tools. You're going to need a measuring tape. You're also going to need, preferably, some type of measuring um, tape or measure stick that has a millimeter measurements on them. Okay. You're also going to need two separate drill bits. One drill bit is a 5 16 inch drill bit, the other drill bit is a 7 16 inch drill bit, depending on what grommet you're putting in and what screw you're using on the back of the TV. We'll go over that in a step though. You're also going to need a drill, okay? You always need a drill, and you're also going to need your mounting hardware that comes with your separately sold mount. So you have your mount, you're going to want to pull all the hardware out, all the screws, spacers, things like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go over with you steps 1 through 15. What I'm going to do is on this first segment, I'm going to go over step 1 and 2 with you. First, what you want to do is go ahead and get your television. What you're going to need is your measuring tape. You're going to go ahead and measure your television's total height. So, easiest way to do that is go ahead and take the front of the television and go ahead and measure from the bottom up. This television is roughly 17 and a half inches total height. So, what we need to do is find the center horizontal line of the back of your television. Okay, and that would be the center horizontal line here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take tape measure again. I'm going to go to eight and three quarters inches, which is half of 17 and a half, and find my center horizontal line. So I'm going to be at eight and three quarters inches. Okay, now that's step one. Step two is going to be measuring from the center horizontal line to your top left mounting hole, okay, which will be the screw ends on the back of your television. So I'm going to go ahead and take that measurement from the center horizontal line to the top left mounting hole, which is five inches. That's step one and two. Okay, in this segment I'm going to go over steps three and four with you, which step three is locate the center horizontal line of the TV shield. So, same thing that you did on your television finding the center horizontal line, you're going to go ahead and need to find the center horizontal line on the TV shield, which it's nicely actually marked here. You'll see a gap in between the top row of divots and the bottom row of divots, and that is your center horizontal line of the TV shield. So, going this way. Now, that's step three. Step four is going to be measuring the same distance from the center horizontal line of the TV shield that you did from the center horizontal line of your TV. So in step two, you measured up from the center horizontal line five inches on the back of your television. So you're going to do the same thing here. Now, if you're using a 200 by 200 millimeter visa mount, that is going to be your outer divot lines of the small TV shield, for instance. These inner divot lines are 100 by 100, and the most inner divot lines are 75 by 75. So we're going to be going based off of a 200 by 200 mount system here. So again, you're going to find the left divot line for 200 by 200, and simply measure up by 5 inches. So center divot line, or I'm sorry, center horizontal line, up 5 inches is going to be on, and you can go ahead and count to the divots, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The ninth divot down. That's step three and four. Okay, before we go ahead and move on to step five, which is going to be starting to drill all your holes, I want to go over some very important pointers with you. Um, when you're drilling these holes, they have to be exact. If they're not exact, and you measure exactly right, which means measure twice, drill once, which is the old saying, then nothing's going to fit correctly, and the back of this could potentially be ruined at that point. Um, so, again, if you are you know, making your first hole, you've measured twice, and you're going to drill once, go ahead and make that first hole, and make sure that you are measuring to exact points and you're doing it once or twice or even three times of measurement before you drill that second hole because you most likely won't have a second shot. So you're going to want to make sure that you're drilling by the millimeters. Um, if you have something to you know, measure millimeters, if not and you're measuring based off of inches and converting it, make sure you're as close as you can possibly get. Okay, step five, what we're going to do is go ahead and drill your first hole in the back of the TV shield. What you're going to do is you're either going to drill your hole with a 5 16 inch bit if using four millimeter screws or the 7 16 inch bit if using the six millimeter screws. Television we're using here, for instance, does take six millimeter screws. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to need your hardware to find out what screw you're going to be using. Simplest way is probably take the screws out and go ahead and screw them into the back of your television if you don't know, or your TV should go ahead and tell you in your manual what size screws should be used in the back of the television. Um, now, what you're going to go ahead and do is, you're going to go ahead, since we're using the 6 millimeter screw, I'm going to use the 7 16 inch drill bit. Now, this hole is going to be quite a bit bigger than the screw. Don't be alarmed. That's to account for the grommet being installed. So, go ahead and drill bit in our drill. You're going to find, again, we were in the prior step, we're on the ninth divot down from the top. Pretty simple, you should have marked it. Um, or you can go ahead and count down nine again. Uh, I have mine marked, for instance, so I'm going to go ahead and drill out my first hole here. That's your first hole, that's step five. Okay, step six. What we're going to do is measure down from that hole that you drilled in step five the millimeters associated with your TV's visa mount system. So, for instance, this television is a 200 by 200 visa mount pattern. What I'm going to do is measure down from this hole 200 millimeters and go ahead and drill my second hole. Okay, what you want to do is make sure that you are measuring from the center of that hole that you drilled down. Not the top of the hole, not the bottom of the hole, but make sure you're in the center. Okay, you're going to go ahead and measure down 200 millimeters, which is 20 centimeters if you have something that you're measuring in centimeters. Um, but I'm going to go ahead down 200 millimeters, go ahead and make your mark, and drill out your hole. So. That is step six. Okay, step seven, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drill our holes on the other side of the TV shield. So, again, we're going 200 by 200 millimeters, which is going to be our outer line here. We already drilled our two holes in. And our farthest line to the right, which is the 200 by 200 millimeters. Easiest way to do this is if you drilled on this top row of divots, the ninth divot down, you can just go ahead and count down nine divots on this right side. So I'm going to go ahead and count down the nine divots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to go ahead and drill my hole.
Now what you're going to do is repeat step six, okay? So you're going to go ahead and take your measuring uh, stick again and go down from that hole 200 millimeters again. Again, make sure you're going from the center of the hole on the top and not the top or the bottom of that drilled out hole. And we're going to measure down 200 millimeters or 20 centimeters and drill our last hole. That's step seven. Okay, step eight is pretty simple. We're just going to go ahead and install the four grommets at this point. Uh, again, in this instance, I'm using the six millimeter screw, so I'm going to use the larger grommet of the two that are in the bag. You should have four of them in the small bag. And pretty simple, we're just going to go ahead and install them. The grommets are there to prevent any water intrusion that could get through the back of the television. So, this is a point where you may need a little screwdriver to help you kind of get those in. We want to make sure they're as tight as possible. So, take that screwdriver and just kind of help you along there and pop that grommet right in. Make sure she's in there nice and tight and that's how you install your grommets. What we're going to do is we're going to take those foam blocks and place these down on the ground Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to place the television face down on the styrofoam blocks. Okay, make sure when you're doing this you're spacing these blocks out so they are touching the edge of the television and definitely not touching the screen of the television. So just want to go ahead and, you know, eyeball them out, make sure they're going to go ahead and set on the sides or on the, you know, outer edges of the television. Go ahead and place that television down on top of them, move them in a little bit, and that is step nine. Okay, in this segment I'm going to go ahead and go over steps 10 and 11. Step 10, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and install any power cords if they need installed on the back of the TV, any coax cable, HDMI, whatever cables you're going to need to use in the installation of this um, because you don't want to try to do that after you've installed the TV shield um, to the television. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just install our coax cable because that's the only thing we're going to use in this particular situation. And then just go ahead and leave that hanging here. Power cord's already in. Now we're going to go to step 11. Step 11 is going to be to place the television and TV shield over the television. Okay? So we're going to want to place it directly over the television and the blocks. Just like that. And that's step 11. Okay, in this segment, I'm going to go over steps 12 and 13 with you. First, what you're going to make, want to grab is your Phillips head screwdriver um, or flathead screwdriver, depending on what type of screw came with your mounting hardware. You're going to want to grab your mounting hardware, so all your screws and spacers and so forth. And you're going to want to grab your bracket that came with your separately sold mount. Okay? First, step 12, what we're going to do is we're going to find your top left mounting hole of the television by simply looking through the grommet and the TV shield and slightly moving the TV shield until you find it, which it's right there. Okay? Step 13, what we're going to go ahead and do is place your mount bracket directly over. Make sure you're using the correct mounting holes on the bracket. Okay. Place it over that top left. And make sure you grab again the correct screws that you, you know, predetermined were correct for your television, which in this case were the six millimeter screws that came in my mounting hardware. 
And we're going to go ahead and install that directly through the mount, the TV shield, and into the back of the television, which at the end of this, you're going to have the TV shield sandwiched in between the back of your television and your mount that you had purchased separately. So you're just going to want to wiggle that down on in there because that grommet is going to be nice and tight and we're just going to find our hole on the TV and screw it in. You're going to go ahead and repeat that for all four holes on the back of the television and that's step 12 and 13. Okay, in this segment, we're going to go over the last two steps. Um, what you're going to do is step 14. You're just going to go ahead and pull all your wires through the self-sealing grommet on the bottom of the TV shield. Go ahead and make sure you pull them all the way through. All right, just like that. Step 15 is just go ahead and mount your TV enclosed within the TV shield as one unit based off of the mount instructions on the separately sold mount. All right, well that concludes our easy 15 step installation instructions. We want to thank you for purchasing the TV Shield, the ultimate indoor-outdoor TV protection.